Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today we're here to talk about Mingyu's airport fashion. I love his style. It's very casual. It's very chic. The color palettes are very concise. And plus, Mingyu is hot. We we can't deny that. <laughs> I've got six of Mingyu's outfits here on my laptop and I'm going to go through and talk references, designers, silhouettes and much, much more. And then I'm going to be rating each look out of 10, 10 wings because we're at the airport. So let's jump into our first Mingyu look. Our first Mingyu look, this is casual, this is chic. I love the way that this has been styled, the silhouette. Everything about this is perfect, even though it's super simple. The silhouette is just right for him. This fine knit jumper being tucked into the trousers, it's giving a really nice clean silhouette. And then he's got this slim tailored trouser, which comes just to below the ankle. And we can see he's got that black leather sandal on. To me, it kind of looks like a Birkenstock kind of vibe, but then zooming in, it looks like it has more of like a Dr. Martin style sole, which I think is really interesting. And to me, the tailored black trousers with the sandals, there's something quite Gandhi, European about it. It's very clean, it's very minimal. This is about the silhouette and then obviously that statement Louis Vuitton bag. I believe the Louis Vuitton bag that Mingyu is carrying is in the Keepal style. What I really like about this is the color. I like the fact it's this very beautiful tone of blue and then the monogram on top is just slightly deeper. It's tonal, it's not in your face. It's not like those Louis Vuitton bags from back in the noughties where it was like, white leather with the rainbow monogram. This is very sleek. It's just a kiss of this is Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Mingyu has then finished off his look with some very minimal jewelry. We've got the wrist on his right, the wrist. <laughs> Mingyu has then finished off his look with very simple minimal jewelry. We've got a watch on his right. Oh my God, why is it such a tongue twister? Mingyu is wearing a watch on his right wrist and then on his left, he's got a very nice bracelet and then he's got some clean rings on his fingers. I really rate this. It's all about the silhouette and it's accessorized perfectly. Mingyu, look one, I'm gonna give this nine wings. It's clean, the silhouette is perfect. It's been accessorized perfectly. Simple fit done well. Next up, we've got Mingyu in Valentino. I am obsessed with this, an all black fit. He looks hot, he looks bad, the way this fits him, it's so great. This jacket as well, this denim jacket shape with that giant V monogram going across the chest, giving it away that it's Valentino. Valentino menswear has really upped their game and the way that they brand their pieces, I absolutely love it. I'm really impressed with the way that Mingyu has layered this. We've got that black roll neck, turtleneck, whatever you call it. And then over the top, we've got that shirt that's then been tucked into the jean. It's either been done up with one button right at the bottom so it sits open nicely or it's just been wrapped over slightly. This is a really nice way to layer shirts. In winter, you know, take some of those summer shirts and layer them over a roll neck. It's a really great way to move your summer pieces into your autumn pieces. It's just great layering. Zooming in on Mingyu's shirt, we can see that this is a hidden placket. This means that there's a piece of fabric covering the buttonholes where the buttons go through. This just keeps it looking very clean and very minimal. Mingyu is then wearing these black slim fit cropped jeans. I think they're jeans at least, just looking at the button at the waist. That looks like a jean detail to me more so than a trouser. And then we've got those beautiful black loafers, the black sock keeping it all black, a very great move. And it looks like there's studs or like the nail detail going around the sole of the loafers. It's just slick, but it's edgy. It's very Valentino menswear as well. It's just, and then the black hair, just keeping it literally all black. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna give our second Mingyu look 10 wings. This is the perfect way to do all black. There are different textures, the cut of it, the shoes, keeping it all black. I need this outfit. I wish I could literally just pull it out of the screen and be like, it's mine. It's mine. Mingyu look three, youth is dead. Youth is dead. What a bold fucking t-shirt. I love this because like the first look, it's simple, but this is more pared down. It's more casual. We've got this statement t-shirt that's been tucked into the wide leg jeans. The t-shirt's been tucked 
in a French tuck style. So that's when you're just tucking the front of the t-shirt into the jean and you're letting the back come and hang out. The silhouette of this is very casual, very comfortable. The wide leg jeans, that's such a trend at the moment. And then you can see, it looks like to me just a pair of white Stan Smiths. And going for a white shoe with this, it helps to balance it out. White on top of a white trainer, it just balances out the colors. I love the attitude in this shot as he's walking with the big sunglasses on. He's got that beautiful structured hold all bag. To me, it looks like it's a grained black leather. It just goes with this look so perfectly. And youth is dead is the statement of this look. It's where your eye just goes to. Mingyu look me <laughs> about to give my score away there. Mingyu look three, it's nine wings from me. I love this simple casual silhouette, the wide leg jeans, that statement t-shirt, the attitude as he's walking. And this is a fantastic one to recreate in menswear and women's wear. If you're recreating this in women's wear, just think of Blackpink Lisa's black Celine t-shirt look, the black t-shirt tucked into the black jeans. That is a fantastic way to recreate this look in women's wear. In men's wear, just copy this look straight up. This look in either women's wear or men's wear is all about finding a t-shirt with a statement that you love, it's funny, and then getting a pair of jeans that fit you like mwah and tucking that shit in and then just accessorizing it really nicely. If you want to make this more smart casual, I think throw on an oversized blazer. This could be double-breasted, single-breasted, whatever you have in your wardrobe, utilize it. I think that would really finish this look off perfectly. Mingyu look four. This is where he throws a spanner in the works. It's like he knew I was filming this video. He was just like, throwing it in there. In my intro, I said the color palettes are very concise and judging off the previous three looks that we've talked about, it's been black, white, blues, and then out of nowhere, Mingyu has thrown this one at us. I believe that this look is Valentino. It's definitely spring vibes. And what I really like is how this color palette is really tying into the color of his hair. We've got that pastel pink minky hair, and then he's got that pastel pink minky sweatshirt with that vivid green, the vivid pink, the bright, bold colors. And then it's been finished with that very like yellowy toned nude wide leg trouser and the blue trainers. The way that the colors work together in this is really beautiful. The tones of the trousers, it works harmoniously with the sweatshirt and then that blue tone on the trainers, it's tying into that little hint of blue in the sweatshirt. It's just very smart. Even though that this is a completely different color story to the other outfits we've seen Mingyu in. It's still a very concise and well thought out color palette. Mingyu has then finished off his look with this black structured bag. I really like the black bag with it. It's simple, it goes with it. You could add a colored bag to this look to really pop and accentuate this color palette, but I think black is just, it's sleek, it's simple. But I feel this like sleek, chic, casual vibe is very much Mingyu. I'm gonna give Mingyu look for nine wings. I absolutely love this. I think this type of outfit is absolutely perfect for the start of spring, especially here in the UK when it's like sunny, but like it's not warm enough to get your shorts out yet. I mean, there's always a man in shorts at any season here, so you know, but you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, this is like the perfect spring fit. Mingyu look five, we're back to that usual, very concise color palette, the black, the white, the blue. I really like this look. This is the most full length shot of this I could find, so I can't really tell if this is a dog tooth coat or a dog tooth blazer. Judging from the fact that I can only see one button and then there's such a huge gap until the next button, I think that this is a blazer. And if that is the case, Mingyu is wearing a single breasted one button or an SB1 blazer. It's got that peak lapel where your lapel pieces come up at a diagonal past your collar pieces. And it's this really nice oversized fit. We can see that the shoulder seams are past his natural shoulders and that they are definitely padded. You can see where the strap is as well. It's kind of like caught on the shoulder pad. I really like the flash of yellow here. We've not seen this yet from Mingyu and our other looks. Well, our other black, white and blue looks anyway. This contrasting mustard yellow, it just works so well. And it's kind of tying into that gold on the arm of the sunglasses. Probably not planned like that. No one really takes into consideration the color of the arm of their sunglass to match a bag. I mean, if you do, like, wow. But yeah, coincidence, I think. Underneath Mingyu's SB1, we've got that black 
roll neck classic fall autumn piece you should have one in your wardrobe everyone everyone you yes everyone unless you live somewhere hot but i don't <laughs> <laughs> this black roll neck has then been tucked into a pair of, I'm going to say mid-wash denim jeans. It just looks like a very classic wash of denim jeans and it's probably a slim fit just judging by how they're sitting on him. And then I think we've got a Gucci belt on. It's kind of covered by the blazer, but I'm assuming that it's Gucci. Mingyu has then finished off his look with these big sunglasses incognito mode don't look at me you know i'm here for that and then we've got that really nice gold necklace sitting underneath the roll neck personally i find putting a necklace under a roll neck it either works it looks fantastic or it's like mm, gonna take it off it's just i think it depends on the necklace and the vibe of the look i'm gonna give Mingyu look five eight wings i really rate this look it's very much Mingyu casual chic the concise color palette but I can't see the rest of the outfit. He might have a hideous pair of shoes on, which ruins it, or it could be a great pair of shoes, which boosts my score up. But you know, from the shot I have, it's an eight. Mingyu looks six. I just feel like this is the epitome of Mingyu's style. Say it with me. Casual, chic, clean, minimal. I feel like it's also Dior. Looking at this close-up shot, we can see that the jumper has that bumblebee on it and that is something that screams Dior. Like look one, this is another v-neck fine knit jumper. What's different about this is obviously this is blue and it's kind of got that cricket style collar, the stripes coming down and you can see that it's got the contrast cuff and then that yellow and white bumblebee on the chest. It just contrasts really nicely. This has then been French tucked into a pair of black slim fit tailored trousers that finish just below the ankle and then he's got those beautiful black loafers on. It looks very similar to the loafer that he's wearing in his Valentino look but I can't see that same like stud nail detail so I don't believe it is. We've then got that same structured black bag. If anyone in the comments knows what kind of bag this is please drop it in. It's giving me like Birkin vibes but I know like Saint Laurent do a very similar style bag and I can see that kind of like Saint Laurent-ish logo that they do, so let me know. I feel that look six is very, very similar to look one. We've got the watch, we've got that really simple bracelet on the other side, the sunglasses, the v-neck, it's a very similar silhouette as well. This is just the epitome of his style. I rate it casual, chic, the silhouette's always perfect, and this very concise color palette. Can you imagine just not knowing what to wear and going into Mingyu's wardrobe? It's gonna be so easy because everything is black, white, and blue. I mean, apart from that one look, but. I'm gonna give our final Mingyu look, Mingyu look six, nine wings. I love the silhouette. I love this casual chic vibe. I love the fact that he's always in like a loafer. It's just, it just adds a little something, something to the look. This is giving me like preppy boy vibes. I love it. If you've made it this far into the video, don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss an upload. I think Mingyu has fantastic style. He knows what he likes. He's very good at putting colors together. And overall, I really rate it. I feel like I need more casual chic looks like this in my wardrobe so i'm feeling very inspired thank you ming Yu. what you should do next is go check out the eighth episode of airport outfits i'll leave a little link in the top screen here for you as well as in the description box but thank you so much for watching and a massive massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed you are amazing and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys